Make some noise, make some noise. Hell yeah, give it up. Okay, boys. Hello everyone, I'm Kate Lois. This is where we test what you relate to more. A fat, misogynistic black guy, or a half Chinese, half white, feminist white guy. Black guy is wedding right now, that's what's happening. There was once a legend comic that said, feminists and comedians are natural enemies. It's pretty true. The comic who said that was Louis C.K. But I mean, ladies, we got him. We got that fucker. That's what the Me Too movement is all about. I didn't know men. Unfairly. He just showed his dick without asking. That's okay. <laughs> Poor guy. I mean, like I said, I'm a feminist. And my personal definition of feminism is just equality. That's it. You know, maybe throw in some love there, but we're not really going to push it because equality seems really hard right now. And because of that, and because I'm so attached to the Me Too movement, because I have to be some feminist. <laughs> I gotta think about it, you know? Like situations like Louis C.K., unfair. Bill Cosby, Harvey Weinstein, they were doing this shit for decades. And nobody said anything, it was cool. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, because of some crowd of bitches, <laughs> it's not okay, and we take everything away from them? sound very fair to me. <laughs> so like, you get as a feminist really to think about this. Is Me Too movement equality or is it, I mean, could the real victims of Me Too possibly be men? Yeah. Yes. No. Right, amen. Poor guys. As Golden told you, it's hard out there as a man. Oof. So anyway, fuck me too, should be men too. Because I mean, they're the real victims, honestly. Woo! Pretty notes, this is cool. Um, earlier, I was at a table, and all the Mexican comics were surrounding me. And there's a joke in there somewhere. I don't know if I'll make it up. Cool. There's not a it's dangerous. Ooh. How are you feeling? You seem to be falling asleep. Carol, was it? Carol. How are you? I'm going to talk to you without like objectifying you or insulting you. I know it's not funny, everyone. I'm sorry. How are you doing? Is this okay? All right. We're enthusiastic. Has anybody heard of the Peter Pan syndrome? Because I love you. And that should be how 
how it is, you know? You just, like you kind of made a point earlier. If you're rapey or if you're into freaky sex or something, just, if you're a creep, just fucking say it. Yeah! Yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Don't yeah. waste our time by getting me all the way to the bed and then releasing all that rapey, creepy shit. You know, getting us onto it. Yeah, that got it real quick. Getting us onto a legal thing or, you know, and then I turn out to be a bitch and it just, you know, why waste our time? Why waste our money? Just tell me up front. If this, if this helps, okay, let me make myself vulnerable here. That's what we do as comics. Um, I'm a submissive, okay? And I've been raped. How does that work? She gets the <laughs> It works. And if you can communicate about it, and, and this thing called consent exists within a sexual relationship, everything can be cool. They're gonna know what the word consent means. My yes. well, ladies know, of course they do. Yeah, because otherwise it's you know rape, and we have to know what that means. When we're confused, well, we're fucking lying. Oh, but really, once again, feminism, Me Too movement, men are the real victims. Thank you. Hell yeah! Give it up for Kid, everybody! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Alright,